All right, here we go. Homemade maracas, take one. Here's what we need to make some homemade maracas. We start out with a simple plastic cup. We get ourselves a couple of popsicle sticks. We'll need about four of these guys. Some masking tape, any other kind of tape you have will work. Just something to uh, keep all the noise in the cup. And then for the actual noise component, let's use some Uncle Ben's brown rice. Let's see what else we have here. Let's try some popcorn kernels. And the secret ingredient that'll give it a little extra pop, some hazelnuts. You only need a few. Don't go overboard with the hazelnuts. All right, so to get started, here we go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make our handle with the popsicle sticks. So we're going to attach those together with some masking tape. This is going to take a minute or two here, but you'll get the idea. So I'm just going to overlap them here like this so that you've got several of them in a row. That'll just make it a little bit stronger. This is going to provide us with the handle for our maraca. So let me just put some tape on here, get these guys to stay together. I'm going to pull this tape, tape as tight as you can. Good hard seal on there. There we go. Let's get this last one on there. Put this guy, make this long enough that about half of it goes in the cup. And the other half you're going to hold in your hand. Wrap that around. You know, two wraps is good. Maybe put a third one in the middle just for a little extra stability. There we go. And there it is. So there's your handle. Now what we're going to do, we want to attach this to the maraca itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three strips of tape on here and then I'm going to place it inside and stick it to the inside. It's just a little bit easier to get the tape on the handle first before you put it in the cup. Especially if you have really fat fingers like myself. There we go. One, two, and we're going to go with three. Put them pretty close together, and actually you want to put them, eh, screwed up. You want to put them lower so that they are all inside of the cup. So put them down to one end. Don't put them in the middle like I did there. So down on one end. Now we're going to take this, put it inside of the cup, and press those pieces of tape down in your cup. Get all that tape stuck on there, and that's a good start. So that's fairly good. We're going to seal this handle up a little bit more firmly here in just a second. Once we got that in place, then we'll add our ingredients. So put a, I don't know, maybe a quarter cup of brown rice in there. Not even, just enough to make some noise. And a couple of popcorn kernels, just because I had extra popcorn kernels lying around. And, uh, and the secret ingredient hazelnuts. Like I said, only, you know, maybe four or five, six hazelnuts. That's all you need. That'll just give it a little extra bang for your buck. Now you just take the tape and you're just going to close in all the ingredients like so. Pretty simple. I'll speed it up through this part. You don't need to see all of this. Just strip after strip. Make sure you don't leave any loose ends unless you uh, want to start hitting your friends with rice as you're making noise, which you know maybe you want to do. Make sure you enclose every bit of it. Then when you get to the part where you have the handle, I like to do some strips across the other direction. Going that way. There we are. couple of these guys. Right, so now all of that is is enclosed. There's no loose holes in there. It looks good. Now let's just put a couple of uh, crisscross straps on here to make sure the handle stays on tight. Maybe put one there in the front. One across the back. And then maybe one on either side, crisscross them around, like so, and 
And there you have it. There's your homemade maraca.